Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Epic Zara here, and I'm back with another video. Just one half of this channel, Zara, aka Epic Zara. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for joining us. And if you have been here before, hey boo, how you doing? Anyway, today we're doing something a bit different. I'd like to talk to you guys, tell you guys a little bit of a story about my brief experience as somebody's sugar baby. It wasn't that deep though, I didn't really enjoy myself, but hey, <laughs> let's talk about it anyway. upon a time I was a young girl I mean I'm still pretty young but once upon a time I was a bit younger than I am now and I was at this party whatever actually it was a concert it was a festival what was it even for I don't remember all I know is I was at a festival and it was an evening event so we had to dress formally you guys already know when I go outside I like to look super sexy so <laughs> Your girl was feeling herself. And I guess I drew the attention of some people I didn't expect to because as we were at a little bit of an after event cocktail, like a little prelude to another party, we met some random old men. Of course, I was quite young at the time. I just turned 21 and 22. So I was like, ew, who are these people? There was a man that came up to me with his posse and he said to me, Um, hi. You're really beautiful, you know, I just noticed you from across the room. We're going to this event later. Would you, you guys like to sit at our table, come with us? Now, my mama always taught me not to talk to strangers, but if I don't know, I was like 21, 22, so I was like, whatever. I mean, not really interested, but hey, I like to go outside sometimes. So we told them, sure, we're going to that event also. Maybe we'll see you guys there, whatever, no big deal. So the man in question, let's just call him, okay, let's just call him Judas. We'll just call him Judas, right? So this guy, I'm not going to tell you his exact age or whatever, but let's just say he was in his late 30s. Pretty tall, not really good looking like that, but he had money and money makes people beautiful, so hey. <laughs> but let me backtrack a little bit, you guys. We're getting off track, I digress. So we went to this party or whatever. There were a few celebs there, some Nigerian celebs. I'm not gonna name them because some of you people might put two and five together and end up with like 42 and I don't need any of you figuring out who I'm talking about. I had a bunch of fun. Following the event, he was asking us, oh, are we gonna be okay? Do we need a ride or anything? I was like, Psh, nah, because I mean, I was the one that drove and um, I was driving my sister's car. Look, y'all, that's another story for another day. My parents didn't buy me a car first. They bought my sister a car, but it's cool. Anyway, I was driving my sister's car, a cute white Honda, and they're like, oh, you guys have a car? In my mind, I'm like, Honda's America. Like, of course we do. <laughs> We're not going to be taking Uber everywhere. We transported ourselves back home, and that day, I think he invited me out to dinner. Now, being the young, naive woman that I was, I was starting to actually really taste life around 21, 22. So I was like, okay, might as well go out to dinner with him. And my mom was totally cool with it. She's always been the type of parent that lets us like experience things and kind of just live life as long as we're being responsible. So I went out, whatever, to a nice dinner at this hotel. Guys, sorry, I'm laughing because this whole time I was telling my best friend slash brother figure, his name is Tyler, hey boo, about this event. And he was like, yes, girl, you gotta chop his money. But anyway, we went to dinner at this really expensive hotel in Washington, D.C. And it was really pleasant. I was really strict vegan at the time, trying to get back there. So I ate my normal thing. We talked for a bit and he told me about himself. That was when I discovered that he is pretty old. And then he started telling me about how he's doing some big contracts back in Nigeria, you know, like every sugar daddy type figure that is Nigerian. Sorry y'all, the camera died. Anyway, back to the story, because this camera ain't about to fall my hands. <laughs> Fast forward, I ended up going up to his room, dun dun dun. But before you jump to conclusions, nothing happened, you girls keeping it tight. <laughs> we just talked a bit and he's kind of old so he fell asleep actually and I was watching TV. 
Anyway, I ended up getting an Uber back. He ordered it for me, super expensive. I was like, okay, I see you, sugar daddy. That's what's up. So your girl was like, okay, this is not so bad. Maybe this is why girls like to be doing this type of ish. Anyway, got home, told the family how it went. You know, they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Seems like a chill dude, whatever. In fact, I forgot to mention that at that dinner, he actually did speak to my mom. That was really how I found out his age. It wasn't just through like casual conversation. I also found out that he has children. So in my mind, I was already like, well, I probably can't marry this dude. But hey, might as well just date whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm young, chilling. Moving forward a few weeks, my parents ended up visiting Nigeria and he had gone back, of course. I wasn't around at the time. When I did go back to Nigeria, one season in 2015, which I'm not going to specify, I ended up seeing him and that was pretty cool. We went out, discovered my favorite restaurant in Lagos. Hey, Ingleville, what's up? went to a few clubs and that was like really my first time seeing Nigeria. I'd only been to Nigeria once before and that was in 2011 so I was pretty old my first time coming to this country. Anywho, fast forward on the end of 2015 I went back to school to finish my undergrad degree and the man was still talking to the sugar daddy but a lot of things he was saying were beginning to like not add up. So every day, maybe, yeah, roughly every day, I'd just be chatting to him or whatever, you know, tell him how my day went. He would also tell me the same. And at a point, he was telling me how he traveled to some country, was it France? For the grand prix that's where the grand prix is right yeah i think so anyway some something there were lots of expensive cars involved i don't know and then he also went to dubai and you know that's like every nigerian's normal holiday i've never been there but i'm pretty sure every nigerian ever has been to dubai and yeah we would just talk about those types of things now at a point he would start telling me oh yeah i want to get you this or that we should go to this place or that place and i was like okay sounds cool we could go to this place or that place but man's not trying to sleep with you so even if we're going to this place or that place just know we're staying in separate rooms in fact low-key i think that attitude didn't really get me much of anything but hey let me just slip this in here while we're at it you guys do not have sex with somebody just to get stuff at least respect yourself enough to know that you're worth much more than what someone can give you and you don't need to give your body in return for anything if someone wants to give you a gift they should give you the gift and not ask for anything in return like Anyway, he would be telling me this or this or that, and I was very reluctant to actually just be open to all of that because I'm not that type of young woman. And the point, I started trying to gradually cut him off, even though high key, he did get me in a baya and I wore it to my senior recital, but that's another story. I was gradually trying to cut him off and I would pick a few fights here and there, you know, just really petty things. I would say, oh this, oh that. Cause I noticed, like I said, the things that he was saying weren't adding up. He would say this wouldn't come through. And then I also noted that he was still very much in contact with the mother of his children. Now I'm down for co-parenting. Co-parenting is super cool, but it's one thing to be a co-parent and it's another thing to be in a relationship. And I feel like on the DL, Mans was still seeing her. I think I stumbled upon her Instagram one time. Not that I was snooping or anything. I was totally minding my business and I, it just it fell into my phone I don't know and I saw a brand new iPhone what was the popping iPhone at the time I think it was a 6 plus and some Tom Ford I was like "Ooh, girl and I was like wait to wait 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 this guy just told me he got iPhone 6 and he told me that he got this and this and that and i'm seeing the same iPhone 6 and a few of the other things he mentioned in this lady's post ah, Side chick is not my portion in Jesus name. So my sugar daddy story was low key bordering on a side chick story, but I ended that before it got serious. Now, after me being petty, picking a few fights, you know, cut him off, my guy still looks for me every now and again, which is not really a big deal. I keep it cordial because like I said, he's actually not a terrible guy. He's pretty pleasant, fun to be around, and his friends are pretty cool. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to be in any stressful situation. Hashtag D1. 
So guys, that's pretty much the end of my sugar daddy story. It's low-key anticlimactic. I mean, I have some other interesting stories, but you'll just have to wait until the other video to find out what they're all about. If you guys want to hear any of my crazy life stories, my interesting love entanglements, let me know in the comments below. If you have your own sugar daddy story, you better comment down below and let your girl know. Let's make this an open forum. Also, how do you guys feel about sugar daddies and sugar babies in general? I prefer to let each individual live his or her own life, so I'm like kind of indifferent, whatever. I don't necessarily support that type of lifestyle because I realize it's not something that I see for myself. At the end of the day, your life is your life, you feel me? So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of the video for real this time. Be sure to please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you love watching us content creators. Let them know that you enjoyed this type of video. And I'll keep making them. It lets me know too. Please also be sure to comment down below on the things I mentioned previously. And also let me know what videos you'd like to see. Make sure you share this video with all your friends. <laughs> be sure to also subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Look guys, I'm talking really fast because there's like some construction going on in my house and I'm trying to beat it. So please just bear with me. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I post kind of cute pictures on Instagram sometimes. You guys might like them, I don't know, I don't know. But you might, so please follow me on there. And on Twitter, I just need more friends. So sayonara from me, Zara, aka Epic Zara, and from the construction going on just across the way. I'll see you guys in another video.